Hi and welcome to a new SimScale video. Because we receive so many messages what SimScale actually is, and there are a lot of misconceptions about SimScale per se, I thought it would be a great idea to do a video about what SimScale actually is. So let me give you an introduction to SimScale. I will talk about the features we have available, so which modules are available on our platform, which applications you can use SimScale for, and at the end I will talk about the most common misconception about SimScale. So with that being said, let us now talk about SimScale as a company. So SimScale was founded in 2012 in Munich. Our headquarter is located in Munich, but we have also offices in Boston as well as in New York. We have around 80 employees across 8 different time zones. We have more than 250,000 users worldwide. We have more than 250,000 simulation projects and more than 1 million simulation jobs. So the question is what we are actually doing. SimScale created the world's first cloud-based engineering simulation platform. What that means is that you can simply log into your browser and perform simulations in the field of computational fluid dynamics, short CFD, finite element analysis, or thermodynamics. Now the question arises where you should use SimScale compared to any other simulation packages that you know of. The problem is that traditional simulation tools are very tedious to roll out. First of all, you have this hardware barrier. That means that you have to get hardware which sometimes adds up to several thousand euros, and most of the time you first have to invest in the hardware before you can even prove that your simulations that you will do with the hardware are even worth it. Also, traditional simulation packages come with high fixed costs. Another critical point in my opinion is the know-how barrier. Sometimes it takes really specialists to master the simulation tools. And SimScale takes that away. It's very easy to use. You basically need no hardware, except of course your computer, or at least access to a browser. And SimScale is very cost efficient. That means you have no fixed expenses for hardware, and the pricing is usually usage based. So we will now talk about the functionalities. So I already talked about computational fluid dynamics, finite element analysis and the thermal that you can do on our platform. And I will give you some examples. So when it comes to CFD, you can perform several simulations. That includes internal or external flow simulations. You can simulate laminar or turbulent flow. We have several options on our platform where you can choose different turbulence models. You can either simulate it in a steady state behavior or transient behavior. You can simulate single or multi-phase flows. You can even simulate scalar transport. You can use it for rotating machinery simulation and you can even simulate porous media. As for thermal capabilities, as you might have seen on our channel maybe already, you can simulate things like conduction, convection, but also convective heat transfer, conjugate heat transfer, or for example, active fan cooling. We will talk about applications in a few minutes. When it comes to FAA per se, you have several options. You can start with a very simple simulation doing a static stress analysis, you can use it for transient dynamics. You can determine thermal stresses, eigenmodes. You can use SimScale for impact and contact simulations. But you can also use it to not only simulate linear behavior, but also nonlinear behavior. You can not only use SimScale for parts alone, but also for assemblies. And SimScale has a variety of material options available that you can choose from. So we will now talk about applications on SimScale and we kick things off with pedestrian wind comfort. This is one of the modules that I really love and this module is using our so-called Lattice Boltzmann Solver and you can also use the Lattice Boltzmann Solver for external aerodynamics. So here you can see some examples. If you are interested in any of these projects feel free to reach out to me or to my colleagues and we will be more than happy to send you the links to the corresponding projects. You can also perform structural wind loading and here you can see some examples as well. And as I mentioned, if you are interested in any of these applications, feel free to put a comment down under the video and I'll make sure to reach out to you or answer you directly under the video or reach out to my colleagues via the chat function. We will move on to a thermal comfort in HVAC, which is a very nice simulation module that you can use on SimScale. But you can also perform smoke and contamination control on our platform. When it comes to electronics, you can not only perform enclosure cooling, as you can see right here, but also electronics cooling. And of course, you can do ground transportation aerodynamics as you can see right here. So I also mentioned that you can either use the incompressible module on our platform, but we also offer a very fast solution, namely the Lattice Boltzmann Solver for external aerodynamics. One very common application for SimScale is turbo machinery. So you can either use the CFD module or maybe if needed in your case, the FEA module to investigate your turbo machinery. A very interesting field that I personally very like is the healthcare application. For example, in the bottom left corner, you can see the stent stress analysis. This is one application I really love. So if you're interested in that, you can find all the simulations that I've shown you in our public project section. And if you're struggling with finding any of these projects, feel free to drop me a message and I'm more than happy to help you out. 
And as mentioned, you can also perform multi-phase flow analysis. Here are some applications. One application I really like and perform myself is the tank sloshing or baffle design. So if you're interested in that, I would give it a spin. It's really amazing what you can do on our platform. Also, a very nice module that we have is the impact and vibration analysis. A tutorial that went viral from our side was the quadcopter drop test, which I really admired. In this particular case, we used the quarter model of the quadcopter and then performed the drop test analysis. So if you're interested in dynamic analysis, make sure to give this project a spin. If you have any struggles to make the project run, feel free to reach out to us via the forum and I'm more than happy to help you out. So one common misconception that people have is that SimScale is a software. And it is somehow a software, but we call it software as a service. That means the only thing you need to do is to create an account. And then once you have an account, you can basically log in and everything that you need is inside of your browser. So you basically don't need to install any additional software. Of course, let's say if you want to perform additional post-processing on your machine, you could, for example, download Paraview, but that's it. So basically everything is in SimScale already implemented. That means you have the pre-processing module, which means meshing the geometry. And there are some features that you can use to optimize your geometry for specific purposes, for example, enclosures and so on. Then we of course have processing implemented. That means setting up your simulation, defining boundary conditions, materials, and so on, but also post-processing, which you can find on our platform. That means if you want to have some first estimations about how your structure behaves or how the simulation would look like, you can use our online post-processor. So the take home from this slide is there is no software or executable to download for you. So you only need an account to get started. So if you have any questions regarding this presentation, feel free to reach out to us via the forum. If you have any project that you want to get started in and maybe don't know how to do it, then the SimScale staff and the power users will reach out to you and help you out for sure. Also, you can use the chat function as I have showed in the demo and you can reach out to my colleagues there and ask them some questions. So if you want to upgrade from the community plan to an academic plan or maybe a professional plan, make sure to reach out to me or to my colleagues and we'll make sure to help you out there. And if you have any project and don't know how to get started, we are more than happy to help you out there. And I'm very sure and very confident that we'll find a solution here. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you have any additional questions regarding this video or SimScale itself, make sure to post your question under this video and I'll make sure to answer you as soon as I can. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest SimScale videos. Bye bye.